Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to me to episode 9 of So I'm a Spider, So What? <clears throat> so let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. My throat is killing me. E. I have something stuck in it. It's a problem, though. Julius, your brother? Mm hmm. He's so cute. Ah. <laughs> uh. My child's still looking like a damn Pokemon. Jesus Christ. Not even a Pokemon. She looks like a Digimon. This girl has evolved like too many freaking times. And I'm thinking this chick, once again, like, oh yeah, you got big. I'm like, no, she's still around the same size. And I'm looking at him like, what? Like, are you nuts? <laughs> Excuse me. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, just had to make sure. I hope he dies, because, you know, even though he is voiced by one of my other favorites male says I need that character to die like so so bad like cause he is such an ass like oh my god like Jesus Christ this dude is such a dick how can you be so hot but be a dick aww Well, damn, you're leaving again already? What's at the Empire? Mm -hmm. Aww. And was that Dragon Egg Fay? Cause see now I wanna go ahead and ask this like, okay. How long has the students and also walk up been Isekai? Has it been like it can't be no year, maybe like a couple of months, yes, but 
There's no way in hell it's been a year. At least six months. So, I don't know, because just the way he's leaving, it just feels like something really bad is going to happen to him. And Julius and, I mean, Julius, Shen and Shu are only going to have each other to comfort. Seriously, she should be dead. I'm just still amazed how this, you know, our little spider <laughs> kicks so much ass. Like, what the Really? Is that supposed to be a Persona 5 reference, even though it's not? You acted more like Futaba every single day, Wakaba, even though that is your freaking voice actress-ish. That is like little to nine. Oh my god. Psh, I would have got the fuck up out of there. No. What the fuck? Seriously? <laughs> oh my god! Mm-hmm. 
Damn. At least I got a little bit of HP, but he, he is dying though, because I mean he has to live without with the lava and without it. So you're going to eat him now? There we go. I can't. <laughs> What's up? Mm. Well, you better hurry up and do that. Sir, um, your voice, your voice. Whew, just thank you. Thank you. <laughs> ah. How's that sound? That guy who was possibly talking about you? Yeah, because where would you go? That cross would still find you. Yeah, that is him. And you are? You're not going... Mother. Okay. Yeah, and plus, I don't know how that would be a spider going against... Whatever the hell you are. Uh, what? <laughs> How are you keep saying okay? It's so cute. Oh my god. Phone? Uh. 
See, it sounds like they're kind of speaking Russian, but I don't want to assume. Okay, so what did you say? Yeah. Also, D, you sound like Sarami Hayamin. If you are, like, thank you for putting my best actress, my favorite BA in the show. That is her. Come on. <laughs> this ain't Persona 4, honey. What the? What the? What the fuck? So I need, I have, explain, 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 please, because I am. Um... No, y'all didn't. No, y'all didn't. Y'all did not bring this man in this anime. Oh, my God. Y'all fucking did. Oh, my God. Y'all took men that I am in love with was like, yeah, we're gonna put them in this anime. Oh, fuck. I don't even know who he's playing. Oh, my God. <laughs> Is he playing the, the DVD? <laughs> Just thank you. Thank you. <laughs>
Really? It makes you wonder, as her who was the Demon King, who maybe she was in the real world before they got... Because they all have to also be characters who are also isekai as well. They also had to be students. Like, come on now. Also, her voice is familiar to me, but I can't figure it out. And you were the guy, yeah. See what I tell you. I'm not surprised about that. Does that mean your brother died? He did, didn't he? Julius. See, what did I say? What did I say? I told you. They brought him in for a couple of episodes just to kill the hot guy. for his last moments or some shit too um oh, okay I mean cause let's really talk about this seriously y'all got some of my damn favorite say yous up in this show you got my number one fave male say you up in this and he playing a bad guy once again thank you cause oh yes we love him on this channel <laughs> cause oh my god like once I heard his voice I was just like <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> um I think Administrator D has to be voiced by uh, how you mean Saudi, uh, Saudi, of course, because I, I mean, I know that voice and such, but I want to know the guy who came and, you know, came in, you know, uh, with Wakaba trying to talk to uh, her, but, he, you know, he was speaking a different language that, of course, Wakaba doesn't understand, and, of course, Wakaba speaking Japanese, and he can't understand her, so, of course, Administrator D had to come in and say something who the hell is he? Of course he's, you know, he evil. 
an ish, and he was talking before he went and met her, before he started talking in a completely different language. So, who the hell is he? And, and, like I said, the demon queen, or king, her, and, and the rest of her lackeys, you know, uh, also my husband is in there, thank you very much once again. Um, they all had to be isekai. I, I'm, oh god, like, also... What did I fucking say? I told you he was going to die at the end of this episode. Because why would you bring him up for like maybe the last couple of episodes? Essentially, you know, when we were doing sometimes focusing on Wakaba and we got to see him and his crew and such like that. And then he finally, you know, sees his younger brother and younger sister for the first time in forever. And the way, like, the cinematography and the way they had you know, his body language versus his sister and his brother's body language and the way, like, they had the scarf flapping in the wind um, before he left, you could just kind of tell that he was not going to come back, that the next time we would have heard something about him, he would have been dead. So now this is all up to Shun, and Shun's still a baby. I mean, he ain't no baby baby, but he's still, like, a new baby. I don't think he's ready for this. I don't think any of these students are ready for the dangers that they're going to have to go against outside of this academy and so I, I fear for him because something told me I was like in the end it's Shun's gonna cry and everybody who he's caring about right now are gonna be the only ones that are gonna comfort him except Julius because Julius is officially dead but oh god this is a good episode <laughs> This is a good episode, but yeah, I'm going to check the cast of this to see if I'm right about my fave behaving in, in this, because, I mean, like I said, you got my favorite, my number one male. Thank you. But we need to check to see if my number one favorite female is in this damn show, because, you know, this show went from eh to, like, what the fuck, let's go. Because, I mean, Aoyuki is, like, there's, I think there's four people in this show, who are like head honcho. So that's Aoyuki, um, Hayamin Saudi, uh, um, I can't say his name, but it's of course Goblin Slayer's VA and Goto from Darling on the Fronts. Um, and then Shun's VA. Cause Shun's VA and, um, the VA for Goblin Slayer were just recently in Akudama Drive together. So, please! <laughs> just let that happen but other than that guys that is our reaction view towards episode 9 of so i'm a spider so what if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially y'all next friday for episode 10 bye guys